Question 12 says the function p is defined by p of n equals 7n cubed. What is the value of n when p of n is equal to 56? So what they're saying is this whole left side will turn into 56. So you have 56 equals 7n cubed. So what you do is you divide by 7, and you divide by 7. You get 8 equals n cubed. 56 divided by 7 is 8. Let's, let's verify that with the calculator. 56 divided by 7 is 8. So finally, you have 8 equals n cubed. And then from here, you would cube root both sides. So you cube root this and cube root that. n cubed cube rooted is back to n. And the cube root of 8, let's use the calculator for that. So you can do math. And the cube root is right here, number 4. Put an 8 in there, and the cube root of 8 is 2. So the answer is 2. Now, that's one way to do it. But you might say, can't I just plug these numbers in and see which one gives me 56? And that's another way to do it. Let's try that way. 7n seven, seven cubed. So here we go. So we have 7 times 2 cubed. That's the answer. That works. But why don't these work? Let's try 7 times 8 thirds uh, cubed. It's not 56. Let's try 7 times 7 cubed, which is option C. That's more than 2,000, and that's not 56. 7 times 8 cubed would be even more. It is more than 3,000. This is also not 56. So the first option worked. And that's why the answer is A.